Woke up this morning with the mountains for my eyes. Listening to nothing but the sun falling from the skies. If I was to go, would you still be? summer of 1965, my cousin Paul and I were jamming in my parents' garage. I noticed someone walking down the driveway. He came in and he said, Hi, my name is Vinny. I live around the corner. I said, Hi, Vinny. How are you? He asked, Is it okay if I play the guitar? I said, Sure, no problem. He picked up my cousin's guitar, flipped it upside down, and started playing some Beatles songs. I said to myself, Wow, this guy's great. Well, from this day forward, Vinny and I became and remained friends for many, many years. We played together in The Outcasts, Noah's Ark, Dick Van and the Dykes, and our original band, Gambit, that we were very proud of. I have to say, anyone working with Vin always upped their game. He was a great guitarist, vocalist, writer, producer, and arranger. I just want to tell you, Vin, we love you, we miss you, and I wish you had gotten more recognition for all the great music you wrote. Vinny crashed into my life at James O. McGuire School in the late 60s. He trashed me because my outfit was a clash of mismatched attire, pointy Mondo boots, and my fingers were covered with plastic Ringo Starr rings. I thought I looked cool. He didn't. He made a total fool out of me in front of a group of my friends, which, obviously, I was. I eventually played with Vinny and Dick Van and the Dykes. I admired his guitar playing, songwriting, and rapier-like wit. He'd waste me with cutting jabs that I found hilarious. My sarcasm got better, thanks to him. I love him, Miss Vinny. He was the best guitarist I ever played with. He told me that all the time. He could play anything and had a brilliant ear and mind for music. He's a great memory and made everyone he played with better because he was the best. I'm thankful for his friendship, inspiration, and enormous talent. <laughs>
Hi, everybody. That song you just heard is called Fortunately. That was one of the many songs that Vinnie wrote. I had the pleasure of singing that one along with many because we were together for a really long time, many years. Uh, Vinnie and I formed the band Match together and everything else was just history. And I'm glad to have been a part of history with Vin. Um, history of Vin. Um, he was my best friend, my brother, my biggest musical influence anywhere. Vinnie Vento made me better. I often, when I'm in the studio, think about what would Vinnie do here? If I'm recording, I'm producing, singing sometimes, uh, he just had some unbelievable ideas. And uh, we shared them a lot with each other and we've written some, I think, pretty cool arrangements. Uh, but most of all, Vinnie was the king. And uh, like the song says, fortunately, I found you. And fortunately, he found me too. I love you, Vin. thing that I can say about Vin is that whenever I pick up a guitar, I hope that I can deliver a performance as inspired as you were. As a Vinnie Vento believer, I was blessed to be in attendance of many, many magical moments, both live and in the studio. Your uncompromising talent was a sight to behold, as well as a force to be reckoned with. We often joked and referred to each other as the unrighteous brothers, but I know that wherever your spirit is, it's as righteous as any spirit could be. Vinny, I'm better for having known you. God bless and keep you. I love and miss you. Your brother from another mother, Stevie B. <laughs> Okay, so what was it like playing with the late, great Mr. Vincent Vento? Well, it was an experience, I can tell you that. You see, when you play with someone who was so particular, so meticulous, such a perfectionist about everything he did musically, and he did it all so well, you can't help but try to up your own game. That's what he did for me and every member in that band. That's what he grew to expect. That's what the audience grew to expect from such a great band called Match. I considered it an honor and a privilege to have played side by side, but more than that, to have called Vinny my friend. Merry Christmas. Everybody is damn ready here. I hope everybody is well. I gotta tell you, Vinny was one of the most funky guitar players I ever worked with. <laughs> miss him for sure but musically 
he was really always so dedicated to the groove and the music and wanting to get it right and really, really put everything into it, his full heart and soul. Making tracks groove during early digital tech days required tons of editing and repetition during production. Vinny's perfectionist ways drove me a little nuts at times, but the resulting performances were so soulfully musical it was worth the effort. We're all one of a kind, but Vinny was somehow just more one of a kind. Hi everyone. I'm out of town tonight, but if I wasn't, I'd certainly be there with all of you remembering Vinny. I was 19 years old when I started playing with Vinny, so over 20 years I played in a lot of gigs, a lot of memories, a lot of great memories, a lot of great musical moments. But I'll tell a quick non-gig story. We were at a Stevie Wonder concert, Warwick Musical Tent, and sound was off. It was two or three songs in, and they weren't correcting it. I see this blur run by me in the aisle. And I turned to my wife and say, was that Vinny that just ran by? And she said, I don't know. But he comes running back up. Sure enough, it was Vinny. I said, Vinny, what the heck you doing? He said, I had to tell the sound man what was wrong with his mix. This is Stevie Wonder's sound man. And, but Vinny didn't care. It was about the music. It had to be right. It was always about the music. He was the ultimate perfectionist. I like to think I picked up a lot of those qualities that helped me in life. Thanks to my friend Vinny. He was the ultimate musician, and he was a musician's musician. Have a good night, guys. And Dennis, thanks for letting me say a few words. Hey everybody, Rusty Russo here. I'm gonna give you a quick synopsis of playing with Vinny. Um, can sum it up like this. Vinny brought out the best in everybody that he played with and the worst, but he would definitely make you a better musician. Um, and that was true for me too. Uh, he demanded meticulous playing. Uh, and I improved as a player right up to the point where I started to sound like a drum machine which I was ultimately replaced by at my own request. So I'll just leave that at that. Um, Vinny was a consummate professional. He was an entertainer. Uh, I miss him and he was a star. I'm happy to have played with him. I know that I can do no Pop along with me. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go. Someday, when I'm off alone, when the world is cold. I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. Now with each word, your tenderness grows, tearing my 
my fear apart And that laugh That wrinkles your nose Oh, it touches my foolish heart Hey! Lovely Don't you ever change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight mm -hmm. Stay with me. 
Stay.